Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitale and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen I want to show you how to make a Sicilian pizza. Now I'm not saying that this is the kind of pizza that you get in Sicily, I'm just telling you that you know in the US when you order Sicilian pizza you get the thick crust square uh, pan pizza and I'm, that's what I'm going to show you today. I'm going to take you step by step starting with some pizza dough. Now you can make your own fresh pizza dough or you can um, buy it at your local, gro uh, your local grocery store or pizza place. Now what I have here, first of all what I have here is a Sicilian pizza pan and this is a really nice heavy duty pizza pan that's got high sides and I've got a little bit of vegetable oil that I have brushed all on the inside and up the sides of the pizza pan. Now you're going to need two bo balls of dough. Both of these are about a pound each and you're going to take each one and you're going to stack it. You're going to shake off all the excess flour and you are going to stack the two on top of each other. Now I know this looks crazy but that's just what you need to do. And now what you do is that you kind of push the two together and you stretch this out to fit the inside of your pizza pan. Now you can do one of two things. You can roll this out ahead of time, you know, on your cutting board or your work surface with just a rolling pin, or you can do what I do and just take your time and press it evenly in your baking pan. Now you can see I'm kind of picking it up and stretching it out and flipping it over because that's just what you have to do. You got to keep things moving and then just stretch this out to fill your baking pan or your pizza pan I should say. That looks good enough for me. I'm not going to worry about it not going into the corners perfectly because this now has to rest. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this with some plastic wrap and I just, I don't wrap it around like I would wrap um, on a bowl. I just take some plastic wrap and you just want to make sure that it's tucked in like so. I'm not going to wrap around the baking sheet. And then I'm going to place this somewhere to rest and rise for a good while till it's about say one and a half times the size and it is now. Not doubled but a little bit bigger than it is now. And then we will get going on the next step. My pizza dough was resting for about a half hour. You can see it has risen quite a bit. And now I just go in with my fingers and continue to kind of stretch it out flatten it a bit if you need to. Just kind of work it with your hands. The good thing about Sicilian pizza is that you know you make it in a pan. You don't have to worry about having it perfectly thin or whatever because it just works really really it's just it's foolproof. I mean you just press it into a pan and you're good to go. Again don't worry if the corners don't catch because that's perfectly fine. So now you want to make sure that your oven is preheated to 450. I have my pizza here. What I have here is some pizza sauce. This is my no cook pizza sauce. I have this recipe linked up with my original pizza uh, pizza video. So if you'll go to LauraInTheKitchen.com and just go to my original pizza recipe video, the no cook pizza sauce will be listed there. But you can use your favorite pizza sauce, marinara sauce, whatever you've got left over. And now what we're going to do is, oh, this is going to be so good, my mouth is salivating already. I'm going to take some of this, not all of it, and I am going to smear a thin layer of this evenly all over the top. That looks awesome. Now I'm going to pop this into my oven that's been preheated to 450 for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I'll show you the next step. My pizza was in the oven for exactly 10 minutes, and now I'm spreading on the rest of my sauciness. Get it all off there. I should say get it all out of there. And then I'm just going to use a spoon to make my life a little bit easier. See how it's really nice and thick? That is what I like. I love Sicilian pizza. And I am a huge, and I'm talking huge fan, that's a timer, of anything pepperoni. Pepperoni pizza is just my favorite. Um, it's just what I dig. So today I'm going to do half pepperoni, half plain because that's just the way I roll. So I'm just going to take some shredded mozzarella. Now you guys know I used to work in my dad's pizza shop for years, so I'm quite used to making pizza. <laughs> and uh, I mean, I like to think I'm pretty good at it. I know a thing or two, but a thing or two when it comes to pizza making. Uh, you can make definitely a thicker, a thicker uh, amount of cheese, a thicker layer, I should say. 
but that is not enough for me. And then I'm just gonna take some pepperoni, this is just some sliced pepperoni, and I'm gonna do half pepperoni and keep the other half plain because we like options around here. I like to sprinkle a little bit of oregano on top. Now this is gonna go back in the oven for another 15 minutes or so or until the cheese is ooey gooey melted. The pizza, is, the pizza crust will be a perfect golden brown and crispy. We'll let it cool just for a few minutes and then dig in. In she goes, ooh. My pizza went back in for 15 minutes. I've let it cool for a couple minutes, but I wanted you to see the bottom a little bit, how it's beautiful, crusty, golden brown. And that, my friend, is exactly what you're looking for. And I'm just like dying to dig in. I'm just gonna take my big pizza cutter, and I've showed you this tip before, where you kind of rock it back and forth so it doesn't disturb your pieces, your toppings, I should say. And I'm just gonna cut them into squares. Some are gonna be bigger than others, but to be honest, I'm trying to do this fast because I, I, I cannot wait another second to eat this. And those of you who really know me know that I just obsess over anything pepperoni. It's just my thing. And the corner slice of a pepperoni pizza has my name written all over it every single time. So I'm gonna go for this one right here. Oh, look at that crust. Perfect, oops, perfect crust. The cheese is phenomenal, <laughs> this looks so good. This is gonna be really hot though, so just give a girl a minute here. Clearly I'm obsessed because I took two bites of it when the camera was off and I apologize, but it was one of those things where I went into a daze and then all of a sudden Joe's like, uh, we need to finish this and I went, don't forgive me, they know me. They know I'm greedy with food and I have no patience. <laughs> but this is just so phenomenal and by all means, do whatever you want with the toppings. You don't want pepperoni, don't put pepperoni. You don't want all cheese, you don't want as much cheese, put less cheese. You can do whatever your heart desires. I, like I said, just, I gotta do pepperoni when it comes to Sicilian pizza and a corner slice. That's just my thing. LauraInTheKitchen.com, mm. when the recipe ready for you, hope you enjoy spending time with me. I'll see you next time, bye-bye. I know this camera is supposed to be rolling for this, but a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. And I can help it. I'm sorry. Going back in though.